When you think of farming, you generally think of rolling hills, not an industrial metal container. But as technology has progressed, people are finding new and innovative places to grow crops, including in freight cars. The city of Holyoke has been home to two freight farms located on Race Street. The hydroponic growing program behind these farms has been up and running for more than a year now, and Holyoke Community College student interns led the project. I sat down with Claire McGale, the farm manager, and William Fogarty, Vice President for Administration and Finance at HCC, to learn more. This is a partnership between Mass Development, the City of Holyoke, and Holyoke Community College, um, including our foundation. And the, I the idea behind the project was to have the college be involved, more involved downtown. We currently have our Culinary Arts Center downtown. This is located near our Culinary Arts Center. And to start a, a hydroponic gardening program where we would be training people for um, uh, skills in doing hydroponic gardening people would get credentials for doing that. Um, we're focusing primarily up to now on Holyoke residents. And what we're trying to do is to open up a new area of um, curriculum for the college as part of our sustainability studies program. Plus, we're trying to really be involved in downtown Holyoke and the revitalization of downtown Holyoke. We're also trying to address food insecurity. The college has a new strategic plan, and part of that is looking at the whole student, looking at all student needs. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of students who have food insecurity, and we've actually been dedicating a part of our produce to um, distributing that to students who, who need it. So we're trying to make this a wraparound program that meets an, a number of different needs. Okay. And Claire has really been deeply involved in getting it up and running. So Claire, I have to ask you, what is hydroponic farming for people who don't know? Our system, it, it's uh, water with nutrients and enzymes and microbiota that the plants, essentially what the plants need, but they don't grow in soil. Um, and because we're in that, um, the freight farm itself is a closed environment so we can specify everything to exactly what the plants need and so that we can have a rapid harvest and um, have consistent growth. So it'll help us visualize what we're looking at. Are these are big trailers that were converted? Like how, how big are these and, and, and how many um, you know vegetables can you be growing throughout the year? So we have two 40-foot, um, they're refurbished uh, refrigerated freighters and um, each one contains 256 seven-foot grow towers. Which each, is foam? It has foam in it? They're a plastic shell with foam inside um, that holds the plants into place and the plants grow vertically. So within that one farm, we have about an acre's worth of grow space because everything is vertical. And um, each one of those towers can produce uh, 10 full heads of lettuce. Wow. So um, from both farms, we pull about 1,000 a week. Wow, and so you started this project a year ago, correct? Yes. Um, tell me about some of the apprentices that you've had working with you, who they are, you know, what, you know, some of their backgrounds. Oh, they're, they're such a joy to work with. Um, we have a couple of couple of our apprentices where um, right from downtown Holyoke, they are um, single mothers on a, on assistance, you know that are really so passionate about bettering themselves and, and for their kids. We have um, somebody who just recently came over from uh, Puerto Rico following the hurricane, mm -hmm. who is just such a joy to work with. Um, is the, the cultural influence really became exciting. But they're mostly Holyoke residents, Oh, they're right? all Holyoke residents from hyper-local. One of our um, one of our apprentices who was just a, um, just graduated HCC as well, is now working in a lab right downtown of full time, full benefits, and his son also went through our apprenticeship. Okay, so this, and now I know that you um, got a degree from HCC in sustainability, mm -hmm. right? That was your um, back field of study? Sustainability studies. You know, when people are getting their certificates coming out of this program, the 11 apprentices, and I know that you're now looking at another year uh, of doing the same thing, what kind of skills have they now learned and what kinds of jobs, you know, could be a possibility for them next? Well, Claire and, and her team have created a whole set of modules that our apprentices go through. And um, again, Claire, I'd, I'd have to turn that back <laughs> over to you because she, really, she and, and her team really developed that. Um, and they go through a whole series of very structured things that they learn how to do, 
And those can be skills that, that translate into any of a number of hydroponic greenhouse gardening situations. So our, our system, because it um, fits into a freight uh, car, essentially, uh, is, is very highly customized. But the basic skills, um, I think, that were most important is um, how does hydroponics work? What is it? I had some apprentices coming in. They didn't know what harvest meant. And they left there like day two. They felt like they had grown so much um, and learned so much. But um, it's, there's a, a lot of things that may differ from a larger farm. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the idea of the water, the pH balance, checking all the sensors, calibrating those sensors, you know, and seeing the whole, you know, working micro to macro in terms of how it all works and fits together. Um, not necessarily what the individual components are, but what they do and why they're important. Right. And really important is data recording and keeping everything really, um, really specifically labeled. And that's been that's that's something that's going to be very important if they go into the the industry, the larger. Right. Industry. So this is a big process. I know you also have buyers who are local, which mm -hmm. helps you explain how that helps uh, financially um, support the program. Well, we have two um, major buyers right now. One of them is Aramark, who does food services for Holyoke Community College, which helps helpful. this whole thing come, become like very full circle. Um, uh, and Holyoke Medical Center also um, buys produce from us. And this is essentially to help us cover our running expenses because we are set up as a nonprofit. We want to donate to the local community, but we do have a high overhead because we're dependent on electricity and um, internet access, et cetera. Right. So um, those buyers have been really great and really consistent um, in supporting the project. And, um, and then we, I doggedly donate 10% to either the students or the local community. Uh, our last donation went to um, a woman's shelter um, in Holyoke, which is less than a block from the farm. And so. we're, we're trying to be uh, very innovative in a lot of the approaches the college is taking to new programs, and this is an example of that. We're kind of inventing this. You know, we're kind of walking on the bridge as we're building it. Mm -hmm. And and I got to give Claire and, and the other folks who've worked on this a lot of credit over the last year of getting this started from nothing, basically. We had the, think of the big trucks you see on the highway, right. having two of those containers delivered with the equipment and they got some training and they had to make all this work. And we've been getting really rave reviews about the quality of the produce um, from the folks who've been buying it. It really is excellent produce. And, and, and so I know this is gonna be another year out for this project, correct? What about plans for either, either expanding the program or, or bumping this out past you know, the original deadline? We're working on that right now. Um, what we're doing is we're integrating it into our sustainability studies curriculum, so there'll be a credit component to it as well. Oh, okay. um, we're looking for additional partnerships. Um, we want to keep the apprenticeship program going. I just mentioned to Claire, we're looking at having work-study students work there. Um, that's a part of our financial aid program. So we're building different components around this program as we're going forward. Okay.